vlogmas number two. I tried to wake up today extra early. We're going grocery shopping to France. We're gonna go to this little town called Perpignan and we're basically going to go to a uh, Costco meets the French market type of thing. It's called Metro or Metro. I think there's also ones here in Spain. I need to check on that. So it's basically like a Costco but for restaurants and chefs but we are going to be able to go. And the reason why we're gonna drive two hours because Perpignan is in the border of France but it's only a two-hour drive from Barcelona and it's just because we want to stock up with good wine, good cheese, meat, um, you know, all the good stuff for holidays. So we're basically only going to drive two hours to be able to go grocery shopping but we also heard that there's very very good burgers there and we can go and try them. I think that's the plan for today. I don't know what else we're gonna do. We're gonna go with Vincent and Marco. You have met them before and right now I want to take you get ready with me because I've been breaking out a lot. I don't know if you can tell right now. Probably the lining right now is helping me quite a lot but I feel like I look like raw chicken. I need some sun. And it's only starting winter. I'm gonna need to probably start doing like fake tan or something like that. <laughs> I'm used to always living on the beach and we have the beach here but it's been super cold so it hasn't really been easy to just go. So Ben made So right now we're at the gas station and Paula is pumping gas and Marco and Vincent are in their bathroom break and also buying some snacks. But I wanted to let you know what happened today. So the plans of the day just changed. When we were just driving and arriving to France, I got a message from my essay telling me that I could go to the boutique to pick up my wish list item. I'm talking about Hermes, by the way, asking me if I could come to the store today. And I was like, well, I just love the country, but I'm going to be back later today. So basically what happened is that I put myself on the wish list just right after we moved here because I went to the store looking for some things and I bought my cheaper sandals. I don't know if you guys remember the unboxing of those. When I got those, I put myself on the wish list and honestly, I did not expect much out of it because it's a very different way to be on the wish list than it was in Mexico. And here they were very specific about the bag, so you could only choose one bag in one size and you only had like a couple of options with the color. So I just got the message, which means that they have probably exactly what I want. I just don't know what color it is. So we agreed that when we arrive to Barcelona, Paul is gonna drop me at the boutique and I'm gonna go pick the bag up and it's gonna be like my Christmas bag. I am promising myself that I'm not gonna open the bag until Christmas because it's gonna be really hard because I really want to use it straight away and I think probably everyone here knows what it's going to be because it's the only bag that I've been like talking about. Well, no, I've been talking about two bags. So now we're gonna drive back and we're gonna go to the store. I'm nervous because I was not expecting it to arrive this fast. It's been only a couple of months but I'm also really excited. I mean, with this type of thing, it has to be meant to be or something like that. So let's try it back. I'm walk 
walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide from falling in love. I just got home with the shopping. I'm so excited. I'm gonna put it under the tree. I'm so tempted about opening it up. I just, I kind of want to try it on, but I think it's gonna lose like the excitement. It's not like I'm gonna return it. So under the tree it goes, but I'm so excited. And I just saw this. This wasn't here before. This was Polo. I'm not gonna pick. So it's already quite late. I kind of wanted to open champagne today, but I think probably the day that we open it. So I think today was a really, really good day. I'm gonna go to bed and let's see you tomorrow. <laughs> Just finished got dressing really quick and i'm gonna go to my nail appointment it was very much needed and after that we're gonna go have breakfast so let's go baby i've been thinking about the things we said oh yeah and maybe we'd be better off being just friends oh yeah it's getting kind of So we finally got delivered Masha's bed. So let's assemble it. She was tried already. I think we're gonna have to wait like two days until it's completely like poofed up and we can put the cover on it, but she's kind of already like taking over. So I'm just gonna put all of this stuff away. Okay, so it looks quite late, but I'm gonna go to check some stuff at Celine, totem sweater and black pants. Seems that it is raining, so I'm not gonna take the last thing back right now. So um, I'm wearing black. Okay, I'm going to take my boy bag. Seems to be the sensible option for the day. And the bag has been switched. So let's go to Celine. We're walking to Celine. I was going to wait until it stopped raining, but I don't think that's gonna happen. And I just washed my hair yesterday, so definitely don't want to get it wet. Boy is going to come and join me just for a bit, and then he's leaving because he has to go to his masters. We are quite close right now to Paseo de Gracia, but see you at Celine. Okay, I just got back home. I did not buy anything because I am aware that yesterday I got the mini Kelly, so we are not buying another bag. I don't know if I've complained about this in my videos in the past, but I hate how early the sun goes down. Like, it's killing me because filming at this hour doesn't look right. Like, I don't know how the footage is gonna come out, but if I turn the lights on, it looks so bad. 
like that's not gonna do so what i went to the store looking for is the tote i am obsessed with the tote but i was not planning on buying it i just wanted to see it in person and probably try it on to see if i maybe liked it enough to formally put it on the wish list because i cannot really like know if it's gonna work out for me if i've never seen it tried it on put my computer inside and all of that stuff because sometimes i like to go to cafes to work it just seems like a very beautiful aesthetic bag maybe i could sell one of my tote to buy that one but they did not have it what they had was shoes and shoes in my size i've been loving selling a ton and they had the loafers i love the loafers so i've been maybe considering getting them i tried them on and they're very chunky but for someone my size because i'm 5'1 i'm really really short i think it adds a little bit of height so i think i might like that so i reserved them I have until thursday to decide if i want to go back for them because they just received the stock today and they had one pair in my size in 35 and they told me that if i don't go back for them they're gonna sell in a second so sometimes i don't fall for these things that essays tell you when like oh it's the last one and if you don't buy it right now you're not gonna be able to find it anymore but when it comes to shoes in my size it's usually true but i feel very guilty about spending money and uh, i don't know like i don't know if anyone else feels like this but like the orange box staring at me just also kind of sometimes reminds me like you just spent a ton of money so i decided to take the anxiety away because i want this to be very very positive is that i'm gonna apply the one bag in one bag out that i've been doing for a while i just kind of stopped because i think that i have a point right now in my collection where every bag that i have i freaking love and it pains me to think about letting any of them go but i think that it's also the responsible thing to do and today i sat down to really think about it and i decided to sell my kelly to go in gold not the blue room one because that one i freaking love and i don't think that i'm gonna be able to ever find it again so sometimes my idea when i sell some bags is like am i gonna be able to buy that bag again if i'm freaking devastated about selling it just like when it happened with my boy bag i sold it and when i was devastated because i didn't have it anymore in my collection i saved again and i rebought the bag and i'm really happy about it so i'm gonna sell well i kind of already sold it to a friend she's gonna buy it for me and it covers most of what i spent on the mini kili so now i feel like at peace and i feel responsible again i think i can go for the shoes what do you think probably by the time that i post this video i will either have lost them or i would have already gone and bought them so i don't know if i do will i put them on the tree or wear them straight away but yeah if you happen to not see my kelly to go in gold again it's because i sold it also right after celine i went to sephora because i feel so pale and going to the beach is not really an option and i don't like tanning beds and that stuff like i've never been to one so i went and got drunk elephant de bronzy anti-pollution sunshine drops i went on tiktok and looked for a very good like tanner and i don't like self tanners because they stained everything so this is basically something that you put in the morning before your makeup like a moisturizing thing and it's supposed to help you look like bronzed in some way you cannot see them but i'm gonna try to focus okay i think you can see them now so i'm gonna use them with tomorrow's makeup and see if i like them and something else i got is um drunk elephant retinol i don't know i haven't been really happy with my skin and everyone says that retinol is the best thing ever so hopefully it helps in some way right now i have to plan tomorrow and i need to edit a little bit like i think i want to be a little bit more advanced into work before polo's parents arrive they're gonna arrive like in a bit over a week and i really don't want to be like on the computer all the time so i need to plan a lot of things we did did book Paris for January which I'm really excited about because I really wanted to go for my birthday but it was very complicated and January is gonna be great so I will look for a good hotel so if anyone has good Paris hotel recommendations would love if you could let me know in the comment section down below also I want to talk about something really silly when I got into the wishlist here at Hermes I know that I'm gonna get many questions about this because it's an interesting topic I really love watching videos about this but since the system here seems to be different than in the US I don't know if I explain it correctly in the car but basically here if you're a local you get pretty much good chances of getting offered a bag I don't know in how many cities in Europe is like this I know that Paris isn't but I didn't really believe it until now because when I arrived I made a couple of friends that also shop from the store and all of them told me that if you got in the wish list you were eventually going to get your bag no matter how much you spent so when I arrived and I bought my cheaper sandals I made my new profile brand new profile of course nothing that I bought 
not before counted at all so I honestly thought that I was screwed but he told me that I could make my profile they really wanted to make sure that I was living here which I think it's great if it worked like this everywhere no purchase history system nothing like that just if you live here and you're on the wish list and they get the bag that you are in for you get it that's super fair to me so when they ask me for the wishes they ask you only for one bag like back in mexico i could give them a 30 different bag list with different colors different leathers here they let you choose between birkin or kelly first and then you have to be very specific about the size and then you have to be very specific about the leather and about the hardware you need to literally tell them the bag that you want and they let you choose around five to six different colors and that was it like never heard back and the only thing that I bought after the cheaper sandals was a perfume that I wanted to get for polo that was it so I honestly thought like it's not gonna happen so since I live very close to Paris I thought why don't I try for the lottery system so every single day <laughs> I was waking up and I would submit for an appointment in Paris I'm not sure how it works but you put an appointment for the next day and when you get there you tell them wh what you want and you may be able to walk out with a bag or they might not have it so my plan like if I get the appointment accepted I was gonna fly to Paris <laughs> that it's crazy but I was gonna fly to Paris to ask for a mini Kelly that was the whole plan and it was the type of thing that I kept doing because I knew that I was gonna keep getting rejected I got rejected like two weeks straight like every time that I would have my coffee in the morning I would just submit my application to go to Paris I mean if you live in Europe it's not that crazy like plane tickets are not that high and it's like a two-hour plane ride from here so I would have gone but when we got into the car to go to France I literally applied for an appointment in Paris the same day that that I got the call 30 minutes later I got the message from my essay so I'm not applying anymore of course but like that's how much I was not expecting it I cannot wait to open the bag I think I'm gonna use it a lot because I'm really short and walking around in Barcelona with a mini Kelly cross is gonna be really really great I didn't even try it on at the store it was quite fast it was like 10 minutes like we went inside the store he tells me I'm gonna go for the bag he shows me the bag I hold it for like what 10 seconds and I'm like yeah I'll, I'll take it like what was I gonna say no of course not so I paid and I came home and yeah that's it so if you're watching this you're probably gonna hear the same thing when I do the unboxing but not everyone watches the vlog but I'm way too excited well I'm gonna go to work now and I'm gonna plan a little bit like the week I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow but see you later good morning today is the last day of this vlogmas and I want to go make my coffee we're waiting for Masha's bed to be all poofed out I think it's almost there right now I have it on the bedroom but it's eventually going to, to the living room and this is the cover that it came with and it's really really nice but the vibe is something very similar to the Roche Bobois so Masha doesn't feel left out 10 out of 10 would you say it has to be comfy so we're gonna put the cover on shortly but I'm gonna go get my coffee camera ready to film a new drill the piece that arrived now getting coffee if one day I break one of this I'll die I think today I'm in the mood for pumpkin spice latte. I don't know if you guys are gonna like the repetitiveness of me doing this every single morning. So let me know if we want to keep this going. Okay, so I just received a couple of things that I want to show you. And let's chat about what we're gonna do today. What I thought about going back for the Celine shoes or not. Spoiler, I think we're gonna go back for them. I cannot stop thinking about them. And I think that they're gonna be great for me. Because they're gonna push me to wear something that is not white sneakers or just boots. So, the first thing is we have a little unboxing. I mean, you can definitely tell that the quality of the camera right now is 10 times better than yesterday at night. So, like a week ago, I ordered this from Spiritual Gloss. So I wanted to share with you today, they changed the packaging. Now it's a beautiful black box with a ribbon. So if you don't know Spiritual Gloss, it's basically the brand where I got this ring, which is like the diamond one, and this one that it's emerald. I also have my diamond tennis bracelet. It's an amazing small business and I always am happy to support it. And I finally got one of the items that I had on my wish list for a very long time. And it's so funny how I'm ticking so many things from my wish list that I made at the beginning of this year. 
here, just like right at the end. So yeah, let's open it up. I'm really excited to show you what it is. And this time it has to be perfectly my size. I really hope so because Maria made sure that it was actually my size so I didn't have to shorten it or anything. It is a bracelet and it is emeralds. I'm gonna open it up. I'm really hoping that this doesn't mess up the lighting of the video. Ta-da! I'm gonna try to make it focus. Like, look at this. This is amazing. Now I'm gonna ask Paula to help me put it on. <laughs> so now we have this tag. I'm gonna show you some close-ups because I'm really excited about this one. And it's the type of thing that it's just going to always be on my arm and I don't plan to take it off. I'm really excited that I got it before the year ended. And I don't know, I'm just... I think everyone knows I'm obsessed with green and this is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna put the details of the piece in case anyone is interested and I'm not sure by the time that I'm filming this if Spiritual Gloss has any sale for the holidays. I think they probably would have. So in case you want to shop something really fast for your loved ones or for yourself and you really like this one or anything else that they have on their website, I'm gonna link it on the description box down below and put any sale. And I also don't know if my discount code is active, but I'm gonna ask and if it's active, I'm gonna leave it on the screen. And if not, it's probably because they have a running sale that intervenes with a discount code. But to be very specific, it is an emerald tennis bracelet. And I can tell that it's just a tiny bit bigger than the diamond one, which I like but it's still dainty enough to be like a very subtle piece and that's what I like about my jewelry I like it to be dainty and subtle and nothing too in your face so website will be linked in the description box down below in case anyone is interested let me put the packaging away and I also wanted to do a farewell to this bag because it's shipping out today I am sad I am like it was honestly one of my most used bags of last year so that's why this is a little bit like bittersweet I know that I still have another Kelly to go in blue bloom but this one kind of started it for me the love for the bag and I think that it's a very understated bag you don't see it much you don't see much information of it but I hope that you guys agree with me that this is the responsible thing to do and that it's really possible that the mini kill is gonna take its place so that's my hope and worst case scenario my friend tell me that if I really regret it I can buy it back from her so I feel really safe selling it to a friend and not just to anyone else out there and I'm sure that she's gonna love it so much so I'm gonna pack it up today and I'm gonna drop it for her to receive it but I wanted to give it a proper good by. I'm a little bit sad but I think it's healthy and responsible and makes me feel better a little bit and yeah I'm also gonna go buy the shoes so <sighs> I still have the blue one I'll probably gonna use the blue one tomorrow just to make me feel a little bit better after her new home so today we're gonna basically make Masha's new bed I hope that you guys like it and we're going to Celine we're going to buy the shoes yes I'm decided. I found them in my size. It has to be fake. Uh, and sorry about my hair today. I haven't done anything to it today and it's not behaving its best. Sometimes it just gets super, super frizzy. And I did put dry shampoo because sometimes it just makes it a little bit like softer. Especially the dry shampoo that I use didn't help today. I do have something random that I bought yesterday. So I bought a Christmas tree and I bought a baby Christmas tree because we don't have a natural one. The one that we have is plastic it already comes with the light bulbs and everything so i kind of wanted a real tree so when we went to ikea the other day i saw this little guy and i'm trying to become a plant person again i used to have so many flowers and plants when i was a kid and i kind of want to have plants too and we have this whole like section next to the living room that's supposed to be like a solarium it's what they call it and i want to fill it like with plants and maybe like a coffee table and something nice to like i don't know maybe i can put their basil and stuff to cook for polo and I can have little plants, maybe bonsais, I don't know, could be my next thing. So I found this and his name is Rodolfo, in English Rudolf, like the reindeer. I'm praying that I can keep him alive because I killed my last orchid. I have two orchids, one died and I had to get a new one and now we have this one too. So I know that he's not gonna live forever. I hope to give him the best life that I can, just like Masha. And now let's build Masha's bed. go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the christmas songs that we love yeah all the christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you
Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe baby with you Ooh I'm making plans what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe 